peace and welcome to the Ogono Art Family. Today I'm going to be showing you guys sites, helpful sites that I use for references or practice. So one site I'm going to show you guys is called uh, Sketchfab. And what Sketchfab is, is it's a 3D modeling website. And it's, uh, it, you know, it's just a 3D modeling website. It's not like a... Uh, an art website per se you know for 2d drawing but it's a 3d modeling website and it'll be helpful to you know grasp uh you know 3d concepts and there's like so uh so much uh that's provided in this site so you could look up uh, almost anything and you'll find a reference for it a 3d modeling reference for it so the reason why i would prefer this sketchfab as opposed to google images is because like if you google images something sure you'll get a selection of images that'll come up into your feed and whatnot however if you you know happen to find a 3d model on sketchfab you can rotate it to get a specific angle and a specific angle that you may not find if you had google images if you had used Google Images to, you know, search for your reference, you know, so I like the I like this site because you can uh, you can play around with the models and you know just get a grasp at, at each and every single angle that's you know that's provided for you. So yeah, you know, so one thing that I uh, use Sketchfab for is. Uh, I used it to look up uh, clown shoes because I wanted a specific angle for clown shoes. Sure, I could have Google Images it. However, I wanted a specific angle that I wasn't used to, uh, that I wasn't used to seeing. So, with this, I managed to find like a wooden clown shoe, and then I would, uh, you know, rotate it and whatnot, just to, to get a grasp, a grasp of that angle. So. Right now, I'm going to, you know, just show you guys an example. So there's a 3D modeling model right here. You know, you could like rotate it and whatnot. But I'll give I'll give out a good example in the uh, next one. So here, you can just uh, go to the search bar and just type in anything that you want. Here, you can type in human anatomy, or uh, you know, you know, or shoes or or clothes or any any kind of reference or a frog you can type in all that and it'll most likely pop up you'll see an artist that probably made a, a 3d model model of it you know and you can use those as references so this is what I looked up I have it uh, open on a separate tab and this is uh, a 3d modeling uh, modeling reference of the male anatomy and this this is really useful for uh, you know if you're for references you know for if you're studying anatomy if you want a specific angle of anatomy you know it's really useful and I'm using a, a, a touch a touch pad on my laptop I'm sure if I had a a, a, a a mouse scroller I could go up and down and whatnot so this is what I have but uh, you can see how useful this would be to capture each and every uh, angle of the human body. And you could do this for the female anatomy. They have it for, you know, anything. You can look up rabbits if you want or insects and just get a grasp of all the different shapes and all the different uh, angles. So you could uh, capture it and use it as your reference. So, and even and, and if you wanted to go for like a, a more dynamic angle you could use it as a reference you know for for shortening and whatnot so <clears throat> these would be uh, really useful to you know get a grasp or using it as a reference you know and you can also use a uh, an animation which I have open on in the next tab so I figured like say you wanted to have a you wanted to draw a character running from a specific angle right so I just thought of a way that you can just use this person as a reference now 
you, you might say to yourself, you know, how can I freeze this image to so I can get a specific reference of that girl? So running. So what, what I, you know, what I just figured out is just to, you know, uh, just slow it down a little bit to to like uh, this speed, and when you slow it down, you can just pause the video, you know, to which whichever angle you desire to draw. So let's say if you're drawing, you're you're looking to draw someone in this pose, this running pose from this specific angle, you could use it. Or this specific angle you could use it or from the top down you could use it you know it's it's really useful you know so yeah the, just uh, you know check out sketchfab I, I use it a lot sometimes to, for uh, my references you know in case I have a, a reference for example like uh, if I'm not used to seeing a reference in my in my visual library or in my uh, mental library, I just uh, look it up on here. For example, the the clown shoes example. So yeah, that's a that's a this is one useful site you could uh, look into. And uh, for practice, um, this is another site that I use. This is called QuickPose.com, and with quickpose.com it allows you to uh, time yourself so that uh, yeah it allows you to time yourself so that you can uh, you know improve on your drawing speed and and improve on uh, your anatomy and whatnot so this is this is helpful so you could go for like a, a short one minute gesture drawing or you could go for you know something for five minutes or you could go for something for for uh for 30 minutes it's it's up to you so and then and it could keep and you could keep increasing it or whatnot and i think the the mat the max is 120. so you can you know select uh different uh different po different uh images that will show up for example, you have uh, the line distortion, and then you have one for the ladies, like a lot of dudes po uh, posing in like you know really fabulous poses, like JoJo. If you want to look into that, um, and you know there are so many uh, things, and this is really uh, good for you know to help increase your visual library of poses. So this this is useful, and. Uh, you know, I'll just show an example here. So you can type in uh, five minutes and it'll start and you can, you know, hit start and you'll see, you know, a pose that you can draw from and whatnot. And there's a select, there's like a, a limit of 20, 20 images that will pop up after the five minutes are over. So yeah, that'll be useful for practice. But, however, before we get into that, there's a video that I found very helpful in my artistic journey in the beginning of the summer, which helped to really boost up my, my art skills, my art level. And the video that I'm going to show you guys is this, how to draw the human figure from imagination, mastering the mannequin. And it's from this YouTuber right here. Now, this video is really helpful. Um, yeah, it's helpful to uh, to master the the human figure from memory. You know, just just from the basic uh, just from the basic shapes that you are you know taught to you know to memorize. So, of course, there are going to be like a different. Uh, different anatomy that you're not like used to seeing from a certain pose but this is like a, a basic uh, basic shape of a human of the human body you know it's not it's not an anatomy tutorial it's just a uh, you know it's just a proportions thing and at the same time it's just you know getting the human figure at its basic form which is helpful and it teaches you about the you know certain rotations and whatnot but yeah, it teaches you about uh, certain uh, 
how to like rotate your cylinders you get a specific angle and it's 40 yeah it's 46 minutes but it's it's really useful it's, it's really impactful you won't regret watching the 46 minute video it'll really uh boost up your drawing skills after you watch it and then after that you practice it and as you're practicing this um you may want to go to this quick pose website here and uh from what you learn from this you can come here and just start drawing with your quick poses and i also recommend his anatomy tutorials as well so he, he's a great great youtuber so just look up how to draw the human figure from imagination mastering the mannequin you don't actually have to have a real life mannequin with mannequin with you he's just telling you guys how to you know just visualize it or like he's just giving the basic structure you know you don't have to memorize a mannequin or whatnot, whatnot but he's like you don't have to i mean you don't have to have a real life mannequin with you but you know it's helpful but once you're done with that you can come here and study the uh study it do some gesture drawings and whatnot just to get used to poses and to build your visual library and so yeah that will be the video and these are like the the these are the things that i find most helpful to me in my artistic journey so yeah peace out and consider subscribing to the family so you can hit that and don't forget to uh, hit the, the red bell button for to get notified for when I upload every Saturday. So when you click that, you'll see this. You can click the chat box to send the notifications for you and then just save it.